This is Mike with Jack and Jill of All Trades. Um, doing a video today on installing Google Chrome and showing how it works with multiple tabs open um, inside the virtual machine that we created. Uh, one of the users uh, had asked me to do a video so that he could see how Windows 10 behaves inside of the virtual machine. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Um, I had recorded this video earlier, but unfortunately uh, I had changed the display settings on my computer and when I had done that the video recorded in very very bad display settings so you didn't get the whole video so we'll go ahead and go to Google and we'll look for Google Chrome and you can see I mean it's kind of a slow like the virtual machine it works but it's it's not the best um, there is a bit of a lag. We can't go to the one that says add. I have a uh, DNS level ad blocker and it won't work if we do that one. So we had to go down to the below and we will, I don't want to give anybody any more information that is absolutely necessary. So we're going to accept and install. Go ahead and run it. And it's actually doing a little bit better uh, than the last time I installed it. Because uh, the last time I installed it, I think the Windows had just finished updating itself. So it was definitely going a lot slower. It took me nearly 20 minutes to install and uh, go to various websites. So, okay, it's installing right now. We're done in Microsoft Edge. We don't need that anymore. It's going to go install Google Chrome. And once it installs Google Chrome, then we'll open up a number of tabs and do a little bit of browsing and, and show you what it looks like inside the virtual machine. All right. Did it install and just not give me a desktop shortcut? Oh, there it is. EGADS installation failed. Well, that's not a good thing. Let's try again. Let's try saving the install file to the desktop this time. All right, let's go view the downloads and scanning. Go ahead and run it. I'm probably just being really impatient. I'm used to things automatically going once we start trying. There we go. Yes, install. Yes. Installation failed. Okay, another installation of Google. That's probably goes that's because I was impatient and did it twice. Looks like we'll looks like it's gonna work this time. Yeah, I don't know why it failed last time. I'm I'm definitely not an expert on an installation onto Windows, so if somebody's so inclined, maybe in the comments below you can let us know. Um so for anybody watching this video in previous videos, um, I have shown you guys how to upgrade the uh, RAM on your Synology NAS, um, mine specifically the DS918. Um, anytime you want to consider doing a virtual machine, it is highly recommended that you upgrade the, the RAM because uh, the stock RAM is only four gigabytes and it doesn't do very well with virtual machines. Um, so I'm going to put a link at the end of the video to one of my uh, previous videos so that you can check out 
the process on how to upgrade the RAM. When you're there, check out that video. Um, it does have uh, my Amazon affiliate link showing you what RAM I purchased for the Synology NAS. And I'll go ahead and link it in the uh, video down below. So with the Amazon affiliate link, if you decide to purchase that RAM and you do it from uh, my affiliate link, I get a very small portion of the proceeds from Amazon. It does not cost you anything at all. Okay, so now we've got Chrome installed. Let's go ahead and uh, open up a bunch of browsers. There's one. We got two tabs. It's three. And we got four and five and six and seven and eight. So now we have eight. Now we got to figure out what we want to go to. Um, let's go to Amazon. Sorry, don't type very well. Amazon.com. And while that's loading up, we'll go maybe eBay.com here. And one of the things that I'm interested in is uh, general aviation. I'm interested in building something called the RV-10 by Vans. That would be a fun plane for me to build. So let's go ahead and pull up some information on that. Uh, let's say Facebook. Uh, let's Google, I don't know, we'll Google something running Chrome in a VM. That's, that's kind of relevant. Um, I don't know, what else can we look at? Let's try uh, Google Earth. We'll Google Google Earth. Uh, they have a fun little flight sim program you can play with to kill time. And let's try Synology.com. Maybe we'll learn a little bit about security on virtual machines while we're there. And then our last tab, let's go ahead and uh, we'll open up YouTube since, you know, we're, we're fans of YouTube. We like YouTube. Okay, so now we've got eight tabs that are opening and loading. So we'll go back to our first one with Amazon. It's starting to kind of load up. Maybe we can go buy some sneakers. Let's see what, what pops up there. eBay. We're still loading here. We're getting something. Vans RV10. Yep, this is the plane that I would like to build. It's uh, about $150,000 plus about three years of your life. To me, it would be a fun project. I like building things. I'm, I'm good with my hands. Facebook's still loading for us. I'm not going to log in. Uh... Let's see, eBay. Lycoming is the engine that the Vans RV10 would need if I so happen to, to ever get around to actually being able to build it. I need the Lycoming 540. So let's browse around for that. And then what are we doing here? Running Chrome. All right, so how to install Chrome OS onto a virtual box. We basically just did that. We, we did it on our virtual 10 machine, or our Windows 10 virtual machine. Here's some information about Google Earth. We can go to their website. Synology, it's it's loading up for us. We're still we're still in the process of loading up, but it is loading. Dual controllers. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. Virtual machine virtual machine protection for Hyper V and VMware. That could be interesting to read about. Let's go there. And then YouTube. What's what's YouTube doing for us? Nothing. Oh, there we go. Now we got links starting. Uh, what videos? We're still loading up. Uh, filling an entire house with packing peanuts? That that does not sound fun to me. I like my house. I don't want to spend hours and hours vacuuming it. Nuclear Godzilla. James Bond. Amazon Basics Full Synthetic Mobile Oil. I don't know why people want to eat foods that cause them physical pain. Like, spice is fine, but good lord, he looks like he's suffering. All right. As you can see, the YouTube videos don't play very well. There's a lot of, a lot of lag and chop on the video. No, I really would not like to have YouTube live TV. All right. Let's go ahead and check on our Amazon. Okay, sneakers are loading. Page is still loading, but I mean, it is usable. So, Pumas, those look good. My wife might like those. What about our Lycoming? We've got any results. There we go. Here's some results for a Lycoming engine. Uh, if anybody watching wants to buy me an engine, that would be very much appreciated. I need an IO540 C4B5 like this. That would be fantastic. Only $3,000 for the crankcase. That would be very much appreciated. Uh, RV10, we can go ahead and go to the Vans website. Facebook, we're just going to close you down. I'm not going to log into my Facebook. Let's go ahead and click that. 
Google Earth. So as you can see, it, it does have a lag while we're trying to use it. It is loading. Everything is working. It is usable um, for day-to-day -day operations. It's um, it's a little laborious, and you won't be able to watch YouTube videos without a, a whole lot of lag and chop. Um, but overall, can you do it? Yeah, you can. I mean, Google Chrome runs fine within a virtual machine. Um, not the most snappy, but for testing and, and playing around with different things, it does look to be very doable. So uh, I hope this answers your question. And the uh, user who asked me to, to make this video for him, I, I hope this is exactly what you wanted to see. So like I said earlier, here's a link uh, to another video where I show you guys how to upgrade the RAM on your Synology NAS. Um, take a look at that. I highly, highly recommend before you try to do anything with virtual machines, you, you do do that. Um, if you're enjoying the videos that I'm putting out, please uh, subscribe to the channel, leave me a like, comment down below, let me know what other things you want me to play with, um, any other thing you want me to test out on the virtual machine. Um, definitely not gaming. I'll let you know this thing cannot handle gaming. Um, so anyways, hope you're all enjoying it and having a good day. Thanks, everyone.